This really is our shared future. How do we work where communities and nature come together to develop solutions, to allow biodiversity to flourish, to turn around the problems we see in our oceans, to make sure we're pulling as much carbon out of the atmosphere as possible. The Smithsonian is so excited at COP27 to be announcing a new initiative, Our Shared Future, Life on a Sustainable Planet. I think when people think about the Smithsonian, they think about the ruby slippers. They think about the Apollo 11 command module. We have hundreds of scientists around the globe understanding, measuring what's happening on the planet and how can we use that deep and long record of scientific research to apply to the climate crisis for real, actionable, resilient solutions for humanity. A life on a sustainable planet brings together all the powers of the Smithsonian. It brings together our amazing collections. It brings together our educational programming. It brings together history, art, culture, and science to say, how do we learn to develop solutions that allow us to live sustainably on this planet? We can help use our museums, our collections, our educational programming to communicate that to the public, to give them actionable information that help them be part of the solution. So whether it's a forest in Panama where we're trying to figure out how do we make sure that the local communities get economic benefit from that forest and yet we're still helping with biodiversity, whether it's out in Montana working to restore bison with native communities, it's how do we restore ecosystems? How do we bring back biodiversity in a way that really helps still protect humans and their way of life. And when we bring to COP, are these stories of optimism, these stories of inspiration, and these stories of how when you bring art, history, culture, and science together, you have more impact and we can actually help change the world.